The Uniform Code of Military Justice has some pretty weird laws in it. We've got six of our favorites to discuss, so let's get right to it. Number six, Article 114, Dueling. Any person who fights in a duel or knows about a duel and fails to report it is subject to court-martial. By the mid-1800s, duels had been on the decline in the Western world, but that doesn't mean they weren't unheard of. Even President Abraham Lincoln turned out for a duel before his second intervened. By World War I, the military in particular banned dueling. It just wasn't an efficient use of government property. I mean, officers. I mean, personnel. Number five, Article 134, drinking liquor with a prisoner. If you're standing post and guarding a prisoner, you aren't supposed to give them booze. This one is pretty straightforward and random, but the existence of such a law means that someone somewhere must have done it. Just remember, maximum punishment is your own three month confinement and forfeiture of pay, so save your hooch for yourself. Number four, Article 134. Indecent language. According to the manual, indecent language is that which is grossly offensive to modesty, decency, or propriety, or shocks the moral sense because of its vulgar, filthy, or disgusting nature, or its tendency to incite lustful thought. Sounds fucking awesome to me, but it can actually get you discharged from the military, so clean that shit up. Number three, jumping from a vessel into the water. Article 134 just wants to ruin all our fun. Taking the plunge might seem like a minor offense, but if you're convicted, you can get a bad conduct discharge, a prison sentence, and a forfeiture of pay and bonuses. Of course, this is all circumstantial. Sailors jump from boats all the time, but you need permission from your command first to ensure you don't bring discredit upon the armed forces or your ancestors. Number two, Article 134, no surprise, adultery. Cheating is obviously shitty, but the UCMJ makes it illegal because it reflects adversely on the service record of the military member. Whether you're the one who is married or you just sleep with someone who is, you're subject to punitive measures. May I recommend couples counseling instead? Finally, number one, Article 134, straggling. Troops who fall behind or lose their way on marches or runs can find themselves in legal trouble. While a straggler on a hike is often just told to hurry up, this offense is punishable under the UCMJ. Straggle means to wander away, to stray, to become separated from, or to lag or linger behind. Anyone who struggled to keep up on a fun run might think this is a little harsh, but straggling can actually make a unit susceptible to enemy attacks, and the sentencing could be quite severe. So you should maybe consider getting off the internet and going for a run, just in case. You don't want to get a silver bullet. Google it. And like this video. 